Yo, I'm Bosk. This is Tails, our CMO, cutest doge in the business. Hi, Tails. And today we're working on an updated mini Bitcoin miner review. But, but what exactly is that? <laughs> Great question. <laughs> it's in my office and it keeps me just a little bit toasty. It's this thing behind me. It's literally a mini Bitcoin miner. Yeah, it earns passive income 24-7, 365. I'm constantly stacking Satoshis. It's not loud, it's not power hungry, but is it really all that profitable? Well, um, the, <laughs> how do I really talk about this? The Bitcoin price has dropped heavily recently and naturally that impacts the day-to-day -day profitability of this miner. I mean, yeah, it's great stacking Satoshis, which is a micro unit of like Bitcoin. But when you start looking at the dollar bills and how much this thing costs to run and how much it makes, you start to wonder, boss, why is that the most popular video on your TikTok? Well, it's because the algorithm chose it. It's gonna be our first one with a million views, which is which is pretty cool. Follow us on TikTok, but we're focused on YouTube. So uh, yeah, let's break down all the numbers and show you exactly why. This is one of the coolest devices in the crypto sphere, but you may not actually want one. Money! As always, nothing in this video is financial advice. I wanna clear something up real quick too. Futurebit did not pay us to make this video. I make zero dollars when you buy a miner. We reached out to them to do a super cool Voscoin limited edition collaboration with this miner because I do think the device is really cool, which I'll elaborate on in this video just exactly why. Uh, they said, uh, yeah, yeah, we have about 5% off and you can put a sticker on it. I'm good, bro. That's a lot of liability for uh, profit margins if a single, one single thing goes wrong i'm upside down and yeah so like a month ago or so i made a basic video just kind of overview of the 499 bitcoin miner i'll explain exactly what that is how that works um it's in regards to basically a stripped down version of the future bit uh, apollo miner and so it, it is honestly really cool to be mining bitcoin in such a small package i do think that it's very applicable to many people but if you're looking to actually just make a ton of money or a ton of bitcoins it's definitely not time for this device so Let's log into it though. I have it logged in, I have the ethernet ran into it, and I also have it connected through Wi-Fi. It has Wi-Fi capabilities as well with the model I have. So I'm right here in the dashboard. You can see I'm getting 4.4% hardware errors, uptime 22 days, 22 days ago, I probably had a power outage, it's been running the whole time. Um, it's hash rate is 1.9 terahash a second. That's very simply put consistent. It's supposed to be pulling about 120 watts from that hash board. Okay, keep in mind that this thing does more than just mine. So it also is operating a full node. It's running Bitcoin Core version 22. And the chain's up to date, got 31 out of 32 connections. And it's got a whopping blockchain size on there of 468 GBs. That's gigabytes, my friends. Network hash rate, the time of recording this video is a whole lot of terahash a second, which creates a difficulty that's a very high number. I have a connected to Vi BTC is my Bitcoin mining pool and I'll link them out down in the video description below. It's a good uh, mining pool for mining Bitcoin. You can reboot and shut down here right from the device. And uh, it's, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You get a couple options. You could do an auto fan speed. You can do custom modes or you can really start tweaking it, but you could damage it when you enter that realm. Again, Wi-Fi capabilities. But the, the takeaway here and what you probably do is jump between eco balanced and turbo mode so keep in mind i'm mining on a residential electric rate that means that i pay well for me personally i pay about 12 cents per kilowatt hour right now and uh so this thing's in my office i want it to be quiet i want it to be efficient 
simply put. I could turn it up a little bit, but it the, it's, it's a small fan. Small fans are pretty annoying. Um, but let's let's take a step back for a second. Uh, if you're all like, whoa, 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 you know, you, you're kind of just jumping around. Please watch our original video we did on this where I really break down every single thing related to this device. It, it serves more so as a tutorial than a review today's. Today's video is more like an updated uh, review and also new batch information and why you still may not want to buy one of those. The the key notes here is, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, watch our that video or how to set up an ASIC miner video. Watch our setting up electricity in your home for mining. This is very simple device, very small, very you know low power usage. This plugs into any outlet anywhere. Any circuit will be able to handle this. Uh, again, it supports Wi-Fi, so you can plug in Ethernet, set up the Wi-Fi, and then put the device anywhere in your house or just leave it on Ethernet. Again, whatever you want to do. You'll notice I'm also logged into the device remotely. You just need to find the IP address. I log into my router and I can get that or use a free app, something like Fing, and you scan the device on your network and you can get that. Don't stress out about this don't overcomplicate it you just got to figure out what the ip address is to remotely connect to this all right so you get on your laptop or your computer or even your phone if you want to have a clunky time and then you start inputting your pool information they push for slush pool sure that's a good option you could do that uh, we recommend via btc and i'll explain why here shortly they've added some cool features that are just it's useful right so you put in your username and then you put in a worker name. So my username is on this pool I've already signed up is uh, Voscoin, right? And then worker name is whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna put the miner name so I have a clear uh, just understanding of what miner I have on that mining pool. We do have a referral link to via BTC, so I do appreciate if you go ahead and uh, use that. From there, you put in a password, whatever you want. Just uh, don't forget it. For me, I'm just gonna keep it simple with mining stuff. Don't hack me, bro. But uh, I just went ahead and put in admin. So when I wanna log into my miner, I'm punching in admin. So that's pretty much all the basics. The miner continues to work well as it's supposed to and intended. Um, going over to the site, you can add the full node upgrade to the LTC miner they had. Those were sold out. They have many Litecoin miners. These are completely outdated and worthless and efficient now, um, unless you just want the full node aspect. Gold Shell, a competitor for small Dogecoin and Litecoin mining rigs, came to market with their Mini Doge miner and their Mini Doge Pro. They completely outclass and outperform the future bit miners on that front. Same thing with their script USB miners, completely outdated. We actually reviewed that script uh, USB miner two market cycle two bowl cycles ago, which is which is kind of crazy. Um, pretty fun footage if you want to kind of you know go back in time, you know, and check out everything we did over there way back when. Uh, but hey, Tails and I are still here kicking, just doing the best we can, making the best videos we can. Um, so, you know, devices change, but still sticking to the mission of mining coins and having fun and, and chasing passive income financial freedom dreams. Bringing it back here to the point, though, only two things they stock now would be their power supply, which is a very cool but overpriced power supply at $100, and then also their actual mining unit here. So you can get exactly what I have for $900. And you can get a completely stripped down version for 524, which comes in line with that 499 Bitcoin miner version we previously talked about. If you are going to grab one of these, I would recommend just getting the USB controlled with the 200 watt power supply, unless you have spare power supplies that you can plug into. For example, um, I had a GPU mining rig when I used to have the Futurebit Apollo LTC miner. And so that's basically this kind of miner, but it mines Litecoin. And you can see that I plugged it into my GPU mining rig because on that power supply I had there, I had an extra PCIe connection. And so just bang, I plug it right in, I fire up the GPU rig and that miner fires up at the same time. I just needed to bring an additional ethernet cable over there and I'm off to the races. So a lot of different ways to get where you wanna go. Keep it simple. I would recommend getting this version. Um, I mean, you're gonna save $300. But if you want to support the Bitcoin network more so, it does make sense to get the full node version, which like this, this is really cool. And this is where this thing becomes like a huge novelty. This device is, is an enthusiast. It's a hobbyist miner, definitely at this point. It would be great for the classroom. Professors, teachers should have this. It looks cool. It's simple. It's easy to use. It's small. It's quiet. It's understandable. 
This is something you could have sitting in every classroom in the world and nobody would really even notice it unless they want to talk about it and how it's kind of powering the financial revolution. But it's not really going to be a revolution for your finances. That's going to be the tough takeaway. Look at this data. On the pool, it regis registers almost exactly what it's supposed to every day, uh, on an average of 1.9 terahash a second, which gets me about 762 Satoshis down here. And how much is that worth? Well, here's the kicker, bud. It, it ain't good. We're mining, we're mining 15 cents a day, and, you know, <laughs> it's not something we really want to talk about. Bitcoin's been crumbling in price recently, though. And keep in mind, right now, at the time of recording this, Bitcoin's trading under 20000 Some people never thought we would go back under 20000 But here we are. So here's the painful kicker is this thing's probably consuming about 50 cents a day in electricity for me. So keep in mind the hash board's consuming 120 watts, but we're also running this machine, okay, that is operating a full node. That is requiring power input that is not accounting for in that dashboard. Furthermore, we have loss of efficiency here. We have a fan on the power supply. We have a fan on the device, okay? So I would estimate at least, at least we're pulling 160 watts. I think realistically we're probably pushing 200, maybe even 250 watts. But let's just say we're pulling 160 watts at 12 cents per kilowatt hour. That's going to cost us about 47 cents. We are mining 15 cents a day in Bitcoin with this, which, which means we are losing 30 cents a day operating this device. Keep in mind, when you run a full node to support the Bitcoin network, you don't make any money. You don't make any Bitcoin. So all nodes are operated at a loss. It's more of an altruistic thing to do, support the network and, you know, nerd out and, and you know, be a piece of this, you know, crypto revolution, right? So there's a lot of reasons to get involved and do this. And most people can afford to, you know, you know, throw 50 cents away a day, especially with the way that the government just wants to keep printing money and inflating it. It's actually one of the best times in history. Actually, it is the best time in all of our lifetimes ever to be maintaining any debt mm -hmm. because the currency that your debt is in us dollars is being inflated so rapidly that so let's say you owe a hundred thousand dollars realistically you only owe eighty thousand dollars now because of the rate that they've inflated it but that's a quick version of it in my opinion and all that and that's not really the point of today's video so bringing it back to the miner and device here then the fact that they have a batch four that's shipping over the next quarter their stock, you can order it right now and grab one. You will lose money mining with this device. You are better off just buying Bitcoin than getting this. However, it does look cool. It does work well. And it does more than just mine. So there's a lot of, uh, there's a unique pitch there, uh, to put it simply. Um, but is that pitch relevant for you? A lot of people will be laughing and flaming me down in the comments because this is a device that loses money. But not everyone is in this to make, you know, huge returns with everything they buy. I think, that personally, it's really cool that this device is even an option for us. I'm very happy that FutureBit is out here producing uh, miners and everything like that. Do I recommend this? Absolutely not. You're going to lose money. Furthermore, I think that these will hit the used market like on eBay and be super cheap soon. Clicking over to eBay, let's check it out. Futurebit Apollo BTC. We got 310, 700, buy now 2100. Uh, the best thing we can do is look at sold items. So this miner just sold today for 300 bucks. This miner sold for 516. This one sold for less than $600. This one sold for less than $400. Keep in mind a lot of these won't be the full node. Some don't this one does not have the power supply, but yeah, why would you be so foolish? Okay? to buy one and wait if you really want one then to just buy it now keep in mind these things are generally newer most of these devices you could even possibly buy should be less than two years old really they most likely would be less than a year old um, when you get it however keep in mind you are buying a used device you don't get that new like unpackaging feeling you know it's not brand new it makes it a little less uh potent as a gift i think this is a great gift to fellow crypto people or you want to get like a friend or family member just kind of into mining but they will be turned off to find out that it loses money mining uh, compared to how much it makes so <laughs> not necessarily the best gift unless maybe they're into bitcoin 
but not into like say the mining aspect again for btc maxis i think it's astonishing that they all don't have devices like this or at least you know devices that operate as a full node or just kind of build their own full node you know as a vps or as a standalone uh, computer server or just from their own computer but as always btc maxis like to just talk more on twitter than do really anything that's beneficial and don't get me wrong i like orange coin too but all, the best money to be made is actually in altcoins. Like any cycle you buy Ethereum, you're going to make more money with Ethereum than Bitcoin. Statistically proven basically since Ethereum has become an option. I don't know everything. I just have been doing this full time for over five years and I hope that I've learned a couple of things along the way. Otherwise, my God, somebody help me. To bring it back to the device though and just kind of round out the video. It's a cool device without a doubt. Um, I, I'm happy to have one. I'm proud to have one. I want to run more nodes. Uh, really, I'd like to get another LTC one and then be running a Litecoin node. If they had, if they offered this miner for every single mineable cryptocurrency with a node option capability, I, w I would have every single one. But I'm an enthusiast as much as I am like a business-minded miner. You know, so I mine to make money to increase my dollars that I have. I mine to make crypto and increase the coins I have. I want to spend a Bitcoin, buy one Bitcoin worth of Bitcoin miners and mine more than one Bitcoin with those Bitcoin miners. You know, that's how I operate. That's what I like to do. And, uh, you know, but I also nerd out. I love this shit. I absolutely love it. So I want to be running nodes. I want to be supporting the ecosystem. You know, we've, we've set up master nodes. We, we uh, yield farm. We, you know, get way down degenning into DeFi, decentralized finance. Um, I love really almost every aspect of cryptocurrency. NFTs, non-fungible tokens, digital collectibles. It's all cool as shit. Um, and this is a very cool aspect of all of this. No reason to wait for a new batch when you can just grab one off eBay if you want one. If you're looking for a cash cow, this is not it. The most profitable miners to buy right now are Cadena miners, but they're a very risky, speculative, and kind of expensive miner. Personally, with my mining farm that I'm building out right now, along with solar panels to support that, putting the root of it, the core of it, the backbone of it, all in and around Bitcoin. You know, slow and steady wins the race. Bitcoin's not going anywhere, I firmly believe that, but some of these altcoins will not stand the test of time. Unlike the Voscoin YouTube channel, shameless plug, you know we're gonna survive the test of time. So I hope you subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, just having fun keeping it real green or red market your boy will be here i hope you are too remember don't get discouraged don't give up and just on average year over year cryptocurrency goes up you stick around you're probably gonna do well don't let bad red days get you down stay the course the only people i've seen that have not made it with crypto okay have really almost always just normally quit or they trade terribly emotionally you gotta be logical deep breath you got this. See you next time. Thanks for watching.